Hi there, thank you for viewing this week's video. Uh, let's take a look at the indices and check out how they have performed and also the outlook for the upcoming week. Now, first, uh, let's do a quick discussion on the market performance last week. The US market began with, off the week with a muted display, but has managed to rally strongly on Tuesday's trade. But uh, came another meltdown on Wednesday when targets earning missed spoke the market. The outlook from the consumer sector is, was gloomy and uh, thus uh, led to another sell-off. The three indices recorded another negative week. Going to the Asian market, both STI and Hang Seng had done well, with Hang Seng being the best performing index again. The rate cut from China government has received a well response from the market and the bullishness has uh, also spilled over to SDI as both indices recorded a good rebound after Thursday's setback. Uh, let's uh, look at the uh, performance and, uh, and see how on a weekly basis the indices uh, perform. Um, looking at the performance chart over here, you can see that um, the uh, Hang Seng over here on this line uh, recorded a, a positive gain of almost 4.2%. STI over here uh, managed to uh, record around 1.5%. Um, the US indices rec still remains in the negative zone with uh, Dow and S&P down again by around 3% thereabouts, while uh, NASDAQ remains at the bottom of the league, down close to 4% since the uh, sell-off resumed in April. The uh, NASDAQ has already gone down by 20%. Of course, uh, year-to-date since the turn of the year 2022, NASDAQ had uh, gone down 31%. So uh, let's look at the technical, technical chart of the U.S. market. Okay, so from the technical aspect, the uh, U.S. market fails to form confirmation for the weekly hammer formed last week as they recorded losses for the seven consecutive weeks. The gleam of hope is that the indices have managed to hold at their respective support level and uh, has uh, a chance to form bullish divergence if they can close the upcoming week in a positive manner. But in my opinion, it uh, may take a miracle to happen. So uh, let's, um, let's look at the Dow first. So over here, you can see that the Dow managed to uh, hold off uh, the selling and uh, managed to uh, close the week above its uh, key support level at 30887 and uh, form a hammer pattern over here. Now, um, this hammer pattern may get some confirmation. Like last week, you can see, I mentioned the uh, morning star pattern and we got some confirmation as the uh, US uh, breaks their resistance, which was the first good sign, but the uh, sell off uh, erased every good work. So this uh, sell off tells you that the market uh, largely is still bearish. And um, of course, if there's any chance for a change in trend, the Dow must uh, retest this resistance at least uh, at 32673 in order to uh, um, form the double bottom formation, a very much needed one. S&P 500 uh, hold off its uh, selling or rather recovered from the uh, selling on Friday to close above uh, its support level at 3,856. Um, we are looking at resistance newly formed at uh, 4,089. This is a new minor resistance after breaking the uh, 4,062 resistance. So uh, another hammer right, for the index, and uh, the index need to uh, recapture this 4089 level in order to form its double bottom. The uh, poor old uh, NASDAQ remains uh, rooted at the low, I would say, right, still uh, about 31% down for the whole year. 
and uh, in order for it to find its uh, footing and stabilize itself, it needs to at least rebound to uh, 11,991 uh, resistance so that uh, it can uh, has a chance to, it can have a chance to change its trend. Um, the uh, key support level is around here at 11,103. Now moving to the Asia market, uh, we have the STI. Um, in a way, the anticipated rebound for STI last week was helped by the China's rate cut and the index itself has already formed its double bottom formation. However, the ability to break above uh, this trend line, above this 3257 resistance and hold above it is crucial to its uh, trend changing. Hang Seng, uh, we are looking at Hang Seng very solid now because it managed to clear its uh, downtrend channel and uh, it's uh, well above the uh, channel right now and it is at this resistance. So it managed to build this gap over here as well and this is a good sign. So the next milestone, the next milestone for the index is to uh, hit 21,297 in order to have any chance to change its trend. Okay, um, so the uh, breakout is important to help the index to follow through its recent recovery. Now, uh, wrapping up, we are looking at the, um, the market, the US market, especially where uh, it remains largely gloomy and it is still largely unknown whether they can recover from the sell-off as they linger at the bearish zone. The disunity between the US administrations and the corporate leaders fought at Twitter with their tweets has uh, actually uh, added insult to the injury. And uh, the upcoming new home sales and jobless claim are some of the key information that the market will be looking at for relief. And most importantly, uh, the Fed chairman's speech on Tuesday may have some impact on the market. Um, it may impact adversely. So let's see how the market balance between the data and his speech. As he can uh, offer no good solutions, but to only say, oh, we are going to go for rate high, rate high, rate high, rate high. Simple words that anyone on the street can say but probably we can understand that that is the best that he can say ultimately. It is the president's handling of the inflation that has brought the US market into this dire state in which Hong Kong was facing earlier. Hang Seng had been brought down by its own government's earlier crackdown and uh, had begun to show some signs of bullishness, but it's still early to say whether an uptrend can be developed Ultimately, the world is still in a chaos and a mess. And since uh, Russia's special operation in Ukraine started in February, the inflation has been uh, skyrocketing. And um, the STI, however, has managed to weather much of the storm, but uh, seemingly lost some footing uh, recently unless uh, it can successfully break out next week to uh, have its own version of a change in trend. And the best scenario is that the US indices form double bottom formation while the Asian market break up from their respective resistance to um, start the uh, market recovery. Um, so is it possible? Well, uh, this remains a uh, huge questions and, uh, and a lot of people are looking for answers to that. So, Thank you for viewing this week's video. I'll see you next week.